Time to tune in, not another sports center. It's a movement. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Now, I got my co-host here in the house with me today, Mr. Mike Williams. What's going on, sir? What's going on, man? I'm excited about today, man. And I am too. I am too. And well, we're, we're used to seeing uh, hurricanes down in Florida. We're used to seeing tornadoes in the Midwest. And uh, well, there's a massive tornado happening right now in Indianapolis. And I'm not the weather man, but yo, I'm the podcast man. And we about to talk about this Carson Wentz situation right now. Um, <sighs> hurt his foot. Hurt his dang foot. He could be out of up to 12 weeks. Um, not looking good right now for the Colts. The Colts are a special team right now because they are a Super Bowl contender. They're, they're, they're one of my favorite teams in the NFL to take and talk about. I can't stop talking about it, man. But the Colts, man, Carson Wentz is going down. This is supposed to be here. He's going to prove himself and all this stuff that's taking to happen, and, and then he gets injured. Now, Mike, uh, you and I are going to take and open up the floor here between you and I. And obviously, Jake, uh, Mr. Eason is going to be stepping up. What are your thoughts on Eason? Do you think he's going to hold it down and they're going to win a bunch of games? I mean, what is what is what is your thought process on uh, Eason taking the starting? Man, this is probably the worst answer, but I don't know because he hasn't proven anything. He hasn't played anything. really. Uh, his preseason work wasn't anything like magnificent. So I think um, he. Like uh, Pat Shermer said it today, backups have to be able to come in and perform on limited reps. Um, I would trust a more veteran quarterback to do that in that situation, but I think he has potential, you know what I'm saying, to step in and surprise. That happens every year. But um, if I was them, I would definitely look at bringing in a veteran just in case the Eastern experiment fails. And Carson Wentz has a history of being injured, so – they say this injury is five to twelve weeks. If I had to guess, I think it'd be closer to twelve weeks than five. So if you're if that's a team that was looking at contending this year, they'd have to, they should bring in a more solid option. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. Now my, my my take on it. Um, let's see what he has. Let's see what he has. Could could this could this be the birth of a next legend? And and we're we're telling in twelve weeks. Hey, Mr. Wentz, go and have a seat. We got the big dog in there right now, right? Um, I mean, they drafted him for a reason, right? They drafted him for the possibilities. They drafted him for the stats that he had when he was taking play in college football, um, the mobility that he has, the arm, the deep ball. My goodness gracious, please look up the highlights on this guy. Easton looks great. But as you guys know, not everything from college football always takes and transfers over to the NFL. But um, you, 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 you and I were talking before this, Mike, and uh, you brought some good points. I'm going to name a few I'm gonna I'm gonna name a few quarterbacks if in the event, and this is I don't want to be negative, um, but look, let's just keep it real. Stuff happens. He may not be that good. That's also a possibility. Okay, I don't want to sound like a homer and like oh yeah, just because I have love for have love for the Colts. Let's keep it real. I got my phone here. Um, Nick. Now all these people disclaimer they're all on roster, so please know I'm not saying that they're free agents. So it would require a trade. But Nick Foles, Marcus Mariota. Gardner Minshew, Mitch Trubisky, and, of course, the recently departed, now currently on the Miami Dolphins, Jacoby Brissett. Um, out of those names, which one – name Harry one or two people who you like out of those guys who uh, would be able to fit the role of a starting quarterback for the Colts as a feeling? My number one option on that list would just be Jacoby Brissett for the simple fact he was in that system. He was a starting quarterback for a brief uh, period of time, so – he could come in and compete and I think keep them afloat. If he's if he can keep that team, you know, six and six, maybe a game or two over 500 while Carson Wentz is out. Carson Wentz comes back. They have a very good uh, chance of being in playoff contention, you know, with seven with the extra game and, uh, you know, uh, seven playoff teams. That would be my number one. And then I think, although this is highly unlikely, um, Gardner mentioned, you know, the only reason it's unlikely is because it's in division. But if the Jaguars are just like, hey, you know, we're so confident in Trevor Lawrence, we can get rid of, you know, Gardner Minshew. I think that'd be a very inexpensive backup who has shown he's a gamer. Um, but again, I just have a hard time believing the Jaguars would trade him in division. And he looks like a guy that would go on a revenge tour, you know. I love it. I love it. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. I mean, you made a good point, obviously. Jacoby Brissett. I mean, that was supposed to be his team. Then a guy named Old Man Rivers decide, hey, I'm gonna give NFL one more crack. And well, that's what happened. And you know, Jacoby didn't, you know, start last year. Um, and, and then of course he goes to the Dolphins. So yes, that would be a that would be a great pickup. You know, he has spent the last, you know, uh three or four seasons for the Colts. He has a history there. But I like Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew's dope, man. Gardner is uh he reminds me a lot of a, a more refined Ryan Fitzpatrick. I mean, he's willing to throw the deep ball. He's willing to take the risk. Uh, Vanilla Vic, if you will. He's <laughs> he's a white dude with wheels. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, but but all, all that stuff aside, you know, that the guy has it on the field. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be starting anywhere else because um, obviously Jacksonville, he had kind of a raw deal. Last season wasn't the greatest. The organization wasn't the greatest, so he's kind of starting over right now. But that would be a great guy to take and have in your organization who could potentially fit in. We could possibly see uh, another Jeff Garcia uh, type situation, um, you know, when after he left the 49ers and you revived his career with the Eagles some years back. So um, very, very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for helping us get to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get to 2,000 next. Catch y'all next time. Touchdown with Doug Smith. Peace. Time to tune in. Not another sports center. It's a movement.